as I said in my last vlog, it is a regional show at the place we usually show at, and some people ask if that's like the only place we show at, but it's not, but it's like the biggest one, and the one with the best shows, so that's like the biggest show place in my county, so that's why we usually go there. Anyway, it's a regional show, um, I'm riding car, and we're doing the 1.5 and 115, and they are both speed rounds, so like just one round. This will be my, my second time jumping car indoors, and I actually haven't jumped here since our last show, which was like almost three weeks ago. But, um, yeah, you know, that's how it is to have no arena. Uh, so, I hope it will go well. And I think it will because she's been really nice to ride at home the past time and um, yeah. So uh, before we went off I just made her ready. I put her file on and cleaned her and put her transport stuff on and I put Santo out in the big field because he's totally fine with being alone and he loves food so he's out there. So I feel like we're a little bit in a hurry which is my fault, kinda. Not in a hurry in that sense, but I wish we were earlier. So we are estimated our estimated arrival is in 20 minutes, and I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. So I was like, should I vlog or not? And I was like, yeah. Um. So I probably won't be able to like vlog before I ride because we're in a hurry. So I need to tack off and like walk the course and stuff. But I will try to like vlog after and stuff like that. So, yes, see you guys later. Girl, put your love on me, cause I won't let you down, I won't let you down, and we'll be singing. Girl, put your love on me, I feel it all around, I feel it all around, and we'll be singing.
look who won the 115. Yay. We had a clear round and a good time. And we won the class. Woo! So it's really good. It is her first time placing in over 110. And we haven't jumped in a while. And she was so good. She felt really good. And in 105, we had a clear round, but not as good. The time wasn't as good. So I am very happy with the results and winning, of course. I was like, that was like, you won. And I was like, what? Did I win? What the heck? But yeah, I did. And she was so nice. So I'm so happy with her. She is just the best pony in the world. Yeah, you're the best pony. Best pony in the world. We wore the pretty equiline set with the red bonnet and matching style pad and her show bridle. <laughs> and everything was red, white and blue, so it kind of matches the placing, so that's cool. I love the style pad, it's so pretty. Black free jumps, Kentucky boots. I took her for long before we left, but of course she's sturdy now. But yeah, she was so good and I'm really happy with her and my riding was fine and I got a lot of compliments, that was so sweet. And I'm so grateful for everyone that's coming over to me, like giving me compliments, saying hi and stuff, it's so fun. So, and I'm speaking, I'm trying not to speak too loud because there's lots of people here and I'm like vlogging in public. But yeah, super pony, super duper lovely best pony in the world, yay! So now I tacked off her and she's wearing her pretty leather holter, Detor holter. And now she's eating her dinner and she's wearing this wool blanket that I bought from my previous horse Connie, which was like gigantic. So I'm pretty sure it's size 155 and she's usually like 135. So she's quite dirty, very sweaty since she's not clipped. But even though she's probably the hairiest and cheapest horse on the ground, we still managed to win the 115, right, Pony? Oh, she jumped so well. Yes, she jumped so well. Yes. And my outfit of today is my Kingsland winter jacket. My Spooks show jacket in navy. My red Jackson long sleeve show shirt. Uh, this very blingy belt and my Kingsland breeches. And my Veredus tall boots. My GPA with red details. Uh, I don't know how clear I made myself in the video where I was talking with Cora because there were so many people there and everyone seemed to be looking at me so I was like trying to be quiet because you know vlogging and public is not my favorite thing but in other words well, at first we did a 1-5 which was a speed round we had a clear round and I took some short turns but I held her back a little too much so I'm a bit pissed at myself for doing that but she jumped really well and uh, we finished like in the top 10 but we didn't get placed because my time wasn't that good uh, but you know it was her first time it was our first time jumping in three weeks so <laughs> If you take that into consideration, it was really good. Uh, next up was the 115, which was her or our third 115. And um, it was also a speed round. And I had a good feeling after the 115, and I was. It's the GPS, it likes to talk. I was third in the ring, and I was number 18 in the 15. So I was like, she was kind of warm, so I didn't warm her up too much. I just popped a few fences, and she felt good. So I went into the course as number three, and uh, I we had a really good round. Like I'm really happy with that. I let her go more and kept like a steady rhythm instead of pulling back too much, uh, and she jumped really well. And. Uh, we had a clear round and I was like, oh, that's really good, yay! But I was like, okay, I probably won't get placed because I'm sure a lot of people will be faster than me. But apparently, and then my dad was like, did you hear that? And I was like, hear what? And he was like, you won. And I was like, what? I won? And he was like, yeah, you were the only clear. And I was like, what? So that was like so, like so great. And uh, I was so pleased with her and she really deserved to win that class. Uh, we had the, the best time and the only clear round, so I was like so happy with that. It was way over my expectations, but she jumped really well. But you know, the past three weeks, she's just been ridden lightly. I've been super busy, I've been feeling super sick. We haven't jumped or anything, so she's just the best pony in the whole entire world. 
So yeah, it was so fun to win and we even won money. So for the first time in history, I went home with money, like after the, like the starting fees and everything, the show fees was paid. And after I paid for the gas, I still had money left. And that is the first time in my life that ever happened. So that was like really great. Like when you win something and you actually go home with money in your pocket, that's a new thing for me. But yeah, in other words, I am so pleased with her. She jumped so well and I'm very happy with our rounds, especially our win. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And um, so thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye.